So I, I think at the ALS we've been very innovative in uh, developing uh, novel modes of operation for uh, users, things that we hadn't really conceived of at the beginning of the ALS. One thing it cannot do is serve simultaneously uh, the high brightness, high flux users and the timing users who would like a pulse every so often. For 10% of the time we operate two bunch mode where we have two larger current bunches uh, on either side of the, of, the, uh, of the ring. It occurred to me many years ago that if it would be possible to satisfy the people who need two bunch operations at the same time as our regular multi-bunch operations, that would open up all sorts of possibilities that have not been available before. Pseudo single bunks, actually the idea is very simple. We are using very fast uh, kicker magnet to kick the one bunch out of the nominal orbit. That would allow the users to spatially separate the beam that's coming from the main train from the beam that's coming from that single bunch. Oh, we saw it! There, there it is! It's there! It is separate! Woo! We found a note written by Roy Bloomberg. It was written before NSLS was, was built at Brookhaven. It was in 1980. You could displace the orbit and then bring it back. And you could do that on demand. And they and I immediately realized this is going to be a very interesting idea. We must try that. So we call this uh, mode of operation kick and cancel. So we kick the beam two turns, it comes back, we cancel the orbit, and we repeat that as often as we want to. And uh, that can be done at 4 kilohertz or, or 100 kilohertz or, or 1 hertz or, or whatever frequency that would match, let's say, your experiment. So, and we immediately saw this result to beamline scientists, uh, Marcus Hedman, and he also very excited and told us this is going to be very useful, going to be expand our capability. I don't see it really replacing the uh, two bunch mode. You won't get quite as much flux in this mode, but you, but you, can, but it, it complements it. You can get longer time between pulses, and uh, you can use it at the same time that. Uh, you do multi bunch operation. So I see it as adding capability to do uh, timing experiments during multi bunch build mode.